Avoid cleansing diets. This is the most important concept for you to understand in order to succeed with this program. So if you don't understand it, come back and watch this over and over again. And then also go to my blog, and I'll give you the link to that at the end of this video, and read the information that's there as well. In the last video that I did, which was titled Cleanses Aren't Cleansing, I described how most people use the word cleanse and how it refers not really to cleansing or the elimination of acids, but rather usually to the use of foods or herbs or other things that buffer or neutralize the acids in your body rather than eliminate them from your body. I've been around here for about 25 years doing this type of work, and many years ago, cleansing was used very differently. That term meant something very different. So I've been using it for 25 years in the way I'm about to explain. I realize, unfortunately, that probably causes a lot of confusion for all of you, and I apologize for that. But let me explain what I mean by cleansing and why you want to avoid a cleansing diet when you start this program. Otherwise, you're very likely not to see the weight loss, the symptom reduction, and the elimination of disease that you deserve to see. So first of all, when I use the word cleanse, I'm referring to the elimination of acids from your organs into your blood, or the dumping of the acids from your organs into your blood. So remember, for your whole life, when your bowels haven't been good, the acids that haven't elim been eliminated from your bowel have gotten stored within your organs. Eventually, when we have no more space in the organs, we've got death. So that's not a good thing. But at the same time, if we eat foods, and there are certain foods that help dislodge these acids from the organs back into your blood, that causes problems. If these acids go from your organs into your blood and then your bowel can't eliminate them, and if you're starting this program, there's no way you'll be able to eliminate them very well, these acids in your blood trigger things like weight gain, fat reduction, or excuse me, fat retention, water retention, symptoms, headaches, skin problems, etc., etc and also bad blood tests. So a cholesterol tests will be bad, you can see high calcium levels in your blood tests, liver enzymes, TSH levels will be off, um, vitamin D levels will be out of whack. So all of these things are caused by these acids in your blood that you're not eliminating. So again, if you start this program, all of you have a bunch stored in your organs. We don't want the acids stuck in the organs but we also don't want them in your blood causing weight symptoms and bad blood tests because we haven't yet fixed your bowel and you can't eliminate them yet. The problem is that many of you start this program and we start healing the bowel so the bowel is getting healthier and we start moving or soaking up this acidity so we're using say the bowel strength of the probiotics to start fixing the bowel and while we're waiting for that thing to get fixed we're using the bentonite to soak up these acids and get them out of your blood so that your weight goes down, your symptoms go down, your blood tests look better. But if concurrently, at the same time that you do that, you start eating in a way that instead of this much acidity being in your blood, all of a sudden a chunk from your organs goes into your blood and you've got a lot more acidity in your blood. Even though we're soaking a bunch of it up, there's a lot more here than was before and you're going to see either your weight stay the same or go up, your symptoms will stay the same or go up, and your blood tests will either be the same and go up. So even though what we're doing, we're healing the bowel, we're getting some of this acidity out, but we still have an excess in the blood, even though that's productive and healing, you're going to interpret it negatively and interpret it as not working and not being healing. So it's very important that you wait a while, six months, maybe a year, and slowly start eating more cleansing foods then and only then, Wait till your bowel is stronger. Wait till there's not so much junk in here in the first place. As time goes by, there'll be less of this to come flying into your blood when you eat a cleansing food, and you'll find you'll tolerate it better, simply because there's less to dump into here, as well as the fact that, again, as time goes by, your bowel will do a better job of eliminating it. Now, I've listed on my blog at www.thisworkscrutchesdon't.blogspot.com the list of cleansing foods. So go there. I'll put that at the end of the video, the link to that and look at which foods are cleansing and just be careful. If you eat some of those now, that's no problem. Just don't eat more of them at the beginning of this program. Or if you eat more of them throughout this program and your bowels don't do as good, you don't feel as good, maybe your weight's not going down as fast as you want, take a look at your diet and in 99% of the cases, what I do find is that someone is adding more cleansing, um, more cleansing foods into their diet. 
it's not because the mouse swing is too strong, it's not because the bentonite's not working, it's not because what we're doing isn't working, it's because they've just started dumping these acids into here. People will commonly say, but don't we want to cleanse? Don't we want to get the acids out of the organs? And I'll say it again, yes you do. Don't worry, that will happen as you heal your bowel and keep dumping them out with the bentonite. But you don't want them moving from here into the blood faster than you can eliminate them. They get into the bowel and you can't get rid of them. They're just back up here in your blood, causing your weight to go up, your symptoms to be bad, and your blood tests look bad. And you're not gonna get that. You're gonna think that what we're doing isn't helping or what we're doing is wrong. 99%, probably more, of the programs, the weight loss programs, the books, um, you know, the stuff that, whatever, most of the alternative practitioners are recommending, is based on a non-cleansing diet, which, by the way, is kind of the same thing as a low-carb, higher-protein diet. What that low-carb, higher-protein diet does is just this. It stops these acids from moving into your blood. Keeps them all in here, which is not a very smart and safe thing to do, but without them dumping into your blood, you feel better, look better, blood tests look better, and you're very dangerously led to believe that what you're doing is really healthy for you. Five years later, when you have a heart attack, get diagnosed with cancer, and believe me, I see these clients all the time. Um, you know, it's shocking, it's surprising, and it's really disturbing because, understandably, when you lost your weight and your symptoms went down and your blood tests looked better on those diets, you did wrongly think that um, what you were doing was actually good for you. So I hope that answers that. I will do many more videos on this concept, I'm sure. But for now, again, go to the blog and look at the cleansing foods. Be careful you don't add too many of those in. Um, if you do add those in and you feel bad, blame the food. Don't blame the program, the bentonite, or the bowel strength, or the acidophilus. And again, just keep rereading these concepts. It's in my book as well. Um, all throughout my book, I discuss this concept. And it's also on my blog, and if you need to, just watch this video again and again. Okay, I hope that helps.